<laughs> Hi. Good morning. Hello. Or good afternoon. Or whenever you watch this. Good that time of day. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, it's really difficult to uh, share poetry every single day. So I'm, I'm failing that challenge. Um, I'm still going to write today. I still wrote yesterday. Uh, but I figured it would just be better to cut back to reality. <laughs> um, but then it's like, what do you talk about? I'm like, I don't know. This is still new to me. We are, guys, this is like video 79. I've done 79 days of this. And um, it's <laughs> still not, uh, it doesn't come naturally. It's still like a weird process. Uh, I watched RuPaul's Drag Race for the very first time last night. And, I, like, that's weird to admit, because it's been around for a long time. Um, and I've seen clips. I know, what the sh obviously, what the show's about. Uh, but I watched the first full episode, front to back, uh, last night. And I'm so glad I did. Um, because, as, I mean, if you know, you know, they had a Madonna challenge, which is, like, the great, like, one of the greatest challenges for any gay man who loves to dress in drag. Like, you get to dress as Madonna, congratulations, pick one. And four of them wore kimonos. Four men wore kimonos. I don't even know, like, honest to God, which version of Madonna that is. I should, whatever. And then, I, like, I started to think, like, maybe, like, is it a generational thing? Like, because... People my age, you think of Madonna, you think of like her hair in a ponytail and like cone breasts, um, and uh, the, or like they're so or like, oh, so it's, but okay, uh, calm down a minute. Like, is it a generational thing? Is it because like that version of Madonna is so dated and really hasn't been like on the forefront of our minds? Uh, there were. Two really great choices, uh, Bob the Bob the drag queen, which is my favorite drag queen name ever, uh, decided to do Boy Scout Madonna, which is when she decided to dress as a Boy Scout to protest the organization, and then um, I'm forgetting her name right now, but uh, one of them did uh, Madonna from League of League of Their Own, which is great. Those are two very great creative choices. Anyway, uh, I just found it rather hilarious. Um, and then uh, <laughs> there was a drag show at the bar I was at, and one of the drag queens there uh, dressed as Donald Trump completely uh, and did a whole set to All I Do Is Win, intercut with uh, various speeches of Donald Trump uh, and, that were like edited together, and it was like, incredibly creative uh and um it's just so fascinating when somebody does something that, like takes a chance and makes some kind of like socio-political commentary without being like sort of offensive anyway that's just where i'm at today guys <laughs> i had a really interesting monday night uh it is tuesday april 5th i am um, not going to dress as Madonna today, but I am going, uh, to get dressed and go to work. Uh, so, uh, I hope your week is off to a great start. I will see you tomorrow.